take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. In summary, coffee is an acceptable beverage for kidney disease. If consumed in moderation, it poses little risk for those with kidney disease. Additives to coffee such as milk and many creamers increase the potassium and phosphorus content of coffee. Let's help you make your mark. Nescafe is a soluble powdered coffee that became an American staple during World War II. In 1965, Nestlé introduced a freeze-dried coffee brand called Nescafe Gold in Europe. In 1966, Nestlé developed a freeze-dried coffee brand under the name Taster's Choice. Let's help you make your mark. Consuming a high amount of caffeine can be damaging to the liver, especially if taken in combination with alcohol. When the caffeine enters the body in any form, the liver releases certain enzymes to metabolize the chemical before allowing it to the bloodstream. Let's help you make your mark. Almost half of the world actually prefers it. Australians like the stuff more than anyone else. Instant coffee accounts for over 75% of retail brewed coffee consumed in Australia and New Zealand, the highest percentage registered for any region. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.